Let's do this question, students. We are expected to find the value of tan 7 pi over 8. The question wants us to get the exact value. Now, for most, what I wish to do is I would like to rewrite tan 7 pi over 8 as tan 7 pi over 2 times of 4. So this is rewritten further as tan 7 pi over 4 and divided by 2. Right? So 2 is actually 2 over 1. So when you flip it, you are going to get 8 there. Now this is equal to tan alpha over 2 where alpha is 7 pi over 4. Fair enough, right? Now, it's time for us to write the formula for tan alpha over 2. So we know that tan alpha over 2 is equal to 1 negative cos alpha divided by sin alpha. This is the formula, half angle formula for tan alpha over 2. Therefore, tan 7 pi over 4 alpha divided by 2 is equal to 1 negative cos my alpha is 7 pi over 4 divided by sine 7 pi over 4. If you can get this value you are actually you have completed the solution for this particular question. Now the much important challenge comes yeah. is what is cos 7 pi over 4? Now if I were to take this 7 pi, now let me just take this 7 pi and convert this into degrees. So how am I going to convert this? I will multiply this by 180 divided by pi. So the pi and a pi gets cancelled. 4 divides so 180 45 times, 7 times 45. 7 pi is 35, 3, 7 4 is 28, 29, 30, 31. 315 degrees is the outcome. So this is in degrees 315. Now I want to write 315 as cos of 270 positive 45. Fair enough, right? Now if I were to use cos of A positive B, this is going to give me cos 270, cos 45, negative sine 270 and sine 45. So this is the value that I've got. Now you have to get the value for cos 270 and the value for sine 270. I do not know what are those values. Of course I know but for the benefit of the viewers, I need to specify or extract the value for cos 270 and psi 270, right? So that there is a better level of understanding. Now for that, again, we use the compound angle. Now cos 270 is nothing but cos of 180 degrees positive 90, right? Fair enough. When you add 180 with 90, you get 270. So let me expand that. So this is going to be cos 180 times cos 90, negative sine 180, sine 90. Now, sine 180, that's going to fall off because of the fact that you got 180 there. Now, cos 180 is negative 1. And you got cos 90. So, what's going to be the issue there? That is also going to be producing me a 0 value. So, though you got a negative 1 and a 0 that's going to be resulting in 0. So, cos of 270 degree is producing me 0. So, now the all important question comes is what is the value of sine 270? So, what I would like to do is I would like to rewrite sine 270 as sine 180 positive 90 which when applying sine of A positive B formula would give me sine 180 times cos 90 positive cos 180 times sine 90. Now cos 90 
gets cancelled. Sin 90 is 1, cos 180 is negative 1. So the outcome is going to be negative 1. So it's a very important fact that you got to know. Cos 270 is 0. Sin 270 is negative 1. If someone were to ask you what is tan 270, your answer should be undefined. Right, so this is a very important knowledge point that you have to have in mind. Now, having extracted the value for cos 270, sine 270, it's time for us to get the value of cos 315. As I mentioned to you, cos 270 is 0, so this goes off. Sine 270 produces negative 1, and you got a negative 1 here. Apparently, sine 45 is 1 over root 2, so the outcome of this value is going to be positive 1 over root 2. This is the value for cos 315 degrees. Now, having got the value of cos 315 degrees, we will also have to get the value of sine 315 degrees. Right? So, let's check that out. What is sine 315? Sine 315 is nothing but sine of 270 positive 45, which can be rewritten as sine 270 cos 45 positive cos 270 sine 45. Now clearly we know cos 270 is 0. So that goes off. Sine 270 is negative 1. So you get negative 1 over cos 45 is 1 over root 2. So it's going to be negative 1 over root 2. So we got the value for sine 3 1 5 degrees. Isn't it amazing? Just with one important information we were able to decipher all other values so it's time now to substitute these values into this particular equation that we have got i'm mentioning it as the equation because we got the left side and the right side now let's do this here let me start off here i, I give uh, I, I start with one followed by negative. Now, this 315 is producing me 1 over root 2. So, I can write 1 over root 2 as root 2 divided by 2 divided by, now, this is going to be negative 1 over root 2. Negative 1 over root 2, I can write that as negative root 2 over 2. So, now the question comes, I need to simplify this. So, how am I going to simplify this? Taking 2 as the LCM, let me use uh, this small edge of space. I just don't want it to have a brick, right? So, that, you know, okay, let's go on. So, taking the LCM as 2, this is going to be 2 negative root of 2 divided by 2. This is for the numerator. And for the denominator, if I were to flip it, right? This is going to be giving me the following. So, if I were to flip this quantity, this is going to be negative 2 over root of 2, right? So, this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled, giving me a negative sign there. Now, if I were to distribute that negative sign, I would have root of 2, it will become positive, followed by a negative 2, divided by root 2. This is what I've got. Now, if you want to further simplify this, you can actually write this as root of 2, negative root of 2 times root of 2, divided by root of 2. And if you were to take the root 2 out, I'm just going to place that value here. If I were to take that root 2 out, this is going to be 1, negative root 2, divided by root 2, right? So, clearly, root 2, root 2 gets cancelled, giving me a beautiful value of 1 negative root 2. Isn't it lovely? So, the value that we have extracted is going to be, where can I place this? So, the solution, final solution is 1 negative root 2. That's the solution for tan 7 pi over 8.